Hello and welcome to Lion Wing Plays, a weekly series where we stream some games of, well, Lion Wing games. I'm Bradley Hailstorm. I'm the host of this show, also the founder and president of Lion Wing. And tonight I'm joined by our, our two community leads who've been with us for all the shows thus far, Real Beans and Sin Theory in the Discord. Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining us once again. Always fun to be here. Always love to be here. Let's go. Right on. Yeah. So um, as you can see on the screen, we are playing some more Gun and Gun. We are going to play uh, some other line wing games in the future. But right now, Gun and Gun is what is on tap. So uh, we might be joined by some folks from the community tonight, or we might just be playing amongst ourselves. And that's cool, too. Uh, thanks for those who have joined us in the chat who are watching us uh, via Twitch. Much appreciated. I will be trying to pay attention to the chat as we go along. If you've got questions about gameplay or anything else, just drop it in the chat. I will get to it. So, um, a little bit of an announcement. I had mentioned in last week's uh, Lion Wing uh, talks, and maybe I mentioned it in last week's plays. I can't quite remember. Uh, I'm getting the two shows confused now. Um, but I had mentioned that we are going to be running a gun and gun tournament, our first gun and gun event. Uh, we are going to be announcing more details about that event in the coming weeks. It'll probably take place in May, the tournament. We don't have a specific date nailed down just yet. We're still working out the details, uh, Beans, Sin, and I. Uh, but in preparation for that, next week, you are going to get the fourth and final core set gunner added to the tabletop simulator version of Gun and Gun. So Ooh. we've been playing with three of the four core set gunners, Ran, Habana, and uh, Kirigo. We are going to be adding the fourth, which is Notori. And that also means we will be adding the final core set gun, which is Kasane, the incandescent shotgun. So we will have the full core set of gun and gun available on Tabletop Simulator and ready to go for the, uh, the tournament. We're doing this because, well, the tournament, we want everyone to have options available to them. And so if you're wanting to get in on the tournament, which is going to probably take place in May, you'll probably want to get some plays and some practice in with all of the options available to you. So we're going to make it, we're going to uh, upload or update the, the Tabletop Simulator demo uh, next week. And so if you're looking to play and to check out the guns you haven't been able to check out yet, stay tuned for details on what day we are going to be pushing that update live. So uh, this will be cool. It'll be a great opportunity for everyone to see the entirety of Gun and Gun Core Set. We will not be putting overheat on Tabletop Simulator anytime soon, if ever. Um, we I haven't quite decided how I want to do that. Uh, Right now, there are no plans to put overheat on tabletop simulator, so we're gonna we're gonna use the the core set for the foreseeable future. Uh, and that leads me to a little bit of talk about the Line Wing Virtual League. The Line Wing Virtual League will kick off later in the summer once games have shipped out and everyone's gotten their backer rewards. When that happens, we're going to attempt to uh, do the the Virtual League not through tabletop simulator, but by using cameras and the actual physical game. Uh, I, I wanted people to be able to utilize the physical product they just got in their hands. And that's why we're going to try and uh, sort of pilot uh, real gun and gun. If it doesn't work out, we can move to tabletop simulator, but I really want people to have that, that tactile experience of being able to play with their cards. It should be a pretty easy setup. You know, you just need one camera uh, facing down on your cards. It might not be the most intuitive thing. Obviously, the most intuitive route is a uh, tabletop simulator, but I really want to give this a shot. Uh, uh, I ultimately decided to try this because a local game shop uh, throughout the pandemic has offered magic leagues and they do it in the same way where you, most people just have like their, their phone camera and it faces down on their cards and they stream their camera, their opponent streams theirs. And that's that. And um, I've been a part of that league for a number of months now. And it really works out it, again. It could probably be handled uh, far more streamlined if we utilize some digital means, but there's just something really unique and cool uh, and something that gets you closer to the real experience when you're playing with actual cards in your hand instead of just clicking a mouse. So we're going to try that. Uh, I will pivot if we need to, if that doesn't work out, but that is how the virtual league is going to kick off. So 
That being said, let's get into the goodness of tonight. And that is more Gun and Gun. If you watched last week, you saw some incredible matches. We played two matches. Uh, if you if you missed the stream, it's up on it's up on YouTube now. Um, and you definitely want to check out those matches. Great games, great plays, some real nail nail biters of of matches. And I'm hoping that we see some more of that tonight. So, all right, folks, y'all ready? Oh man, you had me like biting my fingers in anticipation and talking about getting that physical gun and gun stuff, my man. I am so ready to sleeve these cards and have them at the table. Oh, I can taste it. I actually taste it like that would be actually pretty cool. Ugh, good <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I'm uh, I, I'm stoked for people to finally get their uh, get their copies in hand. All yes, right, sir. So um, until I. Uh, well, let me just say this. If you're watching live, then um, if you want to jump in on a game, you totally can. So right now, Sin and Beans are going to play a match. But if you want to jump in, just let me know, either in the Discord or if you're watching via Twitch, let me know, and we will get you set up with a game. Uh, the last, the, well, the last two Lion Wing plays, the only two uh, Lion Wing plays up until tonight, uh, we played both with uh, kind of amongst ourselves, but then also with the community. And so this is an opportunity for you to play on stream, to play against one of us, or to play against one another if we get enough people who want to uh, who want to jump in and play. Uh, so, yeah, if that's you, just let me know. Until then, guys, let's get going. Yep, yep. And also for you guys watching at home, anytime, if you want to like learn the game or anything, either you can pop on to one of these Monday night streams or literally hit up uh, me or Sin Theory on Discord. We'll be happy to schedule a time to teach you and everything because like we love doing that. And we just want to see as many people playing this game as possible and other line of link stuff too, you know? So never feel, never feel like you are a bother reaching out because we love doing that. Absolutely. All right. Shall we roll to see who goes first? Let's. Oh dear, where'd my go? Three, Three five. five. All right. Um, I guess I'll pick first. Okay, I'm going to make. I'm going to pick Kiriko because I need to make. I need to learn how to make Kiriko work. Make her you know, work, so baby. Make her work. I, I feel like the last time I piloted her, I was like a novice at this game. I was like, all right, being able to reset my hand if I feel like I need to sounds good. But um. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what works with this this time. Let's go. And oh dear, let's not drop that card into the void. Um, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Cool. I think I want that one. Boop. Ah, Hibana. Huh. Didn't expect that at all. I'm gonna toss this card there and that card there. Um, so I pick one, and then you pick one, and then you pick two, and then I pick one, as yep. per usual. One, two, one. All right. Uh, mm, do I want to just pick Enra simply so I can deny you the gun? Ooh. Ooh. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Denial so, strategy, huh? I like it. I don't know. It's like... Mm, I mean, I Sin's had pretty... He's had some pretty good games with Enra. Um, that, is, that is the thing, though. <laughs> that is the thing. <laughs> it might be uh, a lockout pick. You know what? I want to pick Hakuman because I've literally never played with Hakuman. Oh, there's Enra. <laughs> yep. Um, for my second gun, talk. All right. And sure, let's do New A. Wait a sec. Um, did I not take all? Oh wait, are these all of? Yeah, you, you must have just taken all. Ah, bad at TPS. <laughs> there we go. I was like, wait a minute. There seems to be more cards over there, huh? All right, let's give it a shuffle waffle, and let me do the Kiriko thing where I grab my hand. Uh, I have agility four. You have agility five, so you'll be going first. At my hand is four. Cool. Let me um draw some cards. Boop. Thanks to some helpful people in Discord, I now know that I can just press a button instead of having to draw them all individually. Thank you, Discord people. Um, and yes, I I will uh, I will do that this match. Ooh. And, hmm. and, hey, Sen, did you play the Inra Datara loadout in any of the previous matches? Yeah, it's okay. the mat. It's the loadout I used against Joey last week. Gotcha. Yeah, I was about to say. All right, you're mm. going with what worked for you. Huh? Yeah, gotta stick with I what you know works. Um, That's right. 
So I guess it's number. Huh, and then redraw that many. Okay, got you. I like how it says specifically redraw because otherwise I would have done the cheap thing and uh, taken from a different one. But you know, we can only follow what the cards say. No! There we go. Oop. And I'll draw this one and yeah, I am ready to go whenever you are, my guy. All right, so I have five agility, so I go first. Sir. Then we'll go to double bullet and end round. And then I'm just going to fire off Enra for five. All right. Sounds good. And then I'm also going to use Habana's ability to place two cards into my voltage. Sounds good. And I'll. All right, my, it turn. Is my turn then. Cool beans. Classic turn. Uh, first things first, let's drop down healing tube. At the end of my turn, I'm going to gain a life, which I think is pretty spicy. I'm also going to load drain shell into Hakumen. And let's see. I think I'll also, you know what? Let's just, yeah, we'll load drain shell also into Nue. Um, what is it going to need to do too? Oh, um, sure. Can't fire that, can't fire that. So what we will do is pass turn and I'll draw my that's gonna be three from here. Okay. And then you gain one, right? Yes, sir. We go up to twenty-six. Alright, my turn. Yes, sir. What's it going to be? The anticipation is killing me. Oh, Sin said he, uh, he'll he be our B. So. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right. We will fill this time with talking. Nice. <laughs> um, so okay. what I do want to know about Bradley is um, I know you've talked about your process for picking games and stuff on Liming Talks, our sister podcast. Go check it out if you already have people. Plug, plug. That's right. But um, what I do want to know is, so for you, do you... Do you do any active work in like the translating, like in the translating of the games and everything? And if so, like I guess I want to know, like where does your experience with you know Japanese and do you know any other languages too? Yeah, so uh, I pass off the translation to uh, to our team, so um, I can get by with Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, I know enough, uh, but that is not my specialty. There are people I who uh, know far more than I do, and that's what they do. Um, mm. So. So I've never been on the translation side. Even when I was in the video game sector and I was doing localization, I've never been on the direct translation side. I've always been on the editing side. So I, I broke into the business uh, by being a localization editor and then kind of moved my way up there um, to project manager, that kind of thing, in localization. But um, when it comes to Lion Wing stuff, while I won't handle the, the translations myself, I will... I think for every game, I've at least touched parts of it with editing. Now, Gun and Gun, I was very, very, very heavily involved in the editing process, um, and that typically—that's not very typical of me. Uh, normally, mm. my my editor Eli, he's the one who takes care of uh, of all of the editing. That that's what he does um, for a living, and so typically, I kind of run back up. I'll be like uh, the secondary editor or I'll be the proofreader. And that's the role I actually prefer, um, especially at this point in Lion Wings um, cycle. We've got so many projects going and I have to oversee so many projects that I'm kind of yeah. best as like project manager, project oversight, um, kind of like director in, in many ways. Um, but I'll still jump, jump in like with Embryo Machine. I was not the main editor, but I jumped in and I helped with editing here and there. I, I did the proofreading. Uh, I'm doing a lot of the editing for like uh, post campaign stuff for Embryo Machine. So uh, we're getting some gnarly feedback, I think, from Sin. I'm not sure. 
but it kind of sounded like it. Yeah. yeah, I think since been having some issues with audio all day. Um, I think you mentioned Which that before. Discord can be totally finicky sometimes, honestly. <laughs> that any better? You might have heard my dog. Uh, a little bit. Feedbacky. You, good amount of feedback, though. <laughs> yeah, you sound pretty like distorted, and mm-hmm. uh, it's sort of unusually loud. All right, one moment. Okay. No problem. No problem. Yeah, so someone but, in the uh, chat you, said, uh, we have a team like that at WB. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's the yeah, boomy voice. Yeah, I would agree. Um, yeah, I think a lot of I think a lot of teams run in the in the same way that we do. Um and, and it works for us. You know, we pretty much have the same team on every project. Um why well, I, I can't say that anymore because we've got so many projects that I finally had to bring on more people. And so uh <laughs> We have two teams right now, kind of a third, because the, the third team was working on something very not like the rest of Lion Wing stuff. So I brought on a team who was specifically um, in that corner of this industry to take care of that project, just because most of, the, you know, uh, most of our teams work strictly in board games or card games, and this was neither of those things. And so I needed to make sure that I was doing right by that project, and so I brought in experts in that area. Um, so there for a while. Now that project is done. So there for a while we have three different teams, um, working. Uh, but right now we're, we're back to, to two, but for a long time up until, um, up until right around gun and gun, it was just one team. And it was the same team that I use for, you know, every project. Um, but you know, now we're doing a lot more and, um, you know, have more projects have gotten more popular, et cetera, et cetera. So you got to be able to meet demand. You got to be able to meet deadlines and everything. It, it wasn't going to work any longer with just like the, the three or four of us that worked on the first three projects together. How am I sound? Uh, so that's hey, good. You're a little well, quiet. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can fix that. Uh, let me see. I can uh, bump your volume on my side. At least I can hear you a little bit better. But um, maybe if you could. How's if it's that? Mic, that? That's a lot better. Yeah, say, say something one more time. Something one more time. <laughs> okay, go. that's good. That's All good. right. Okay, Dad. All right. So, okay, so I put down a bullet in Enra. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna play Ulof, which lets me take one card from my voltage oh, and put it in you. my hand. There you go. All right. I'm like imagining a hissing sound coming from the gun right now. Like a... Um. I'm going to load double bullet in Enra. Ah, the classic. <laughs> and a stealth bullet in the Tatara, and then I'm going to fire Enra. Oh, my goodness. Double classic. For five. Baby. All right. Uh, five off of Enra. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm going to discard five voltage to hit you with three from <laughs> Abor Bashiri. Okay, then. Rush down. Oh, my goodness. Yeesh. And then I'm going to draw... Or I'm going to put two cards in the voltage with Habana's ability and then draw for turn. All right. Huh. I'm learning that uh, perhaps Hawkman was a good idea. So uh, let's see uh, Let's see what we can do. Uh, first things first, high speed recharge. I'm going to load a card from the top of one of my decks into either gun and draw a card from the top of one of my decks. Let's uh, toss that right over there. Let me make sure that I know what I'm doing. I got one card face down and then one card face up. We got two in anyway. And I'm going to draw one card. That's going to go right there into my discard. Um, okay, that is actually pretty nice. I'm going to toss this card right there. And uh, we can wonder what it is later. Uh, and hmm, I would really like to have that. So what we're going to do is, sure, I'm going to toss down this portable capacitor and get rid of that card at the end of my turn i get to load up to one card from the top of one of my decks into either gun i think that will probably be pretty good for uh myself later on let's see so from here we've still only got the one here so i'm gonna toss let's just do it we're gonna toss this card right into there and i'm definitely gonna fire hawkman for two hits on you i'm gonna gain two off hawkman and then one off of drain shell but still gonna be two hits on you uh, let's go to voltage. No, that's wrong. There we go. Oh man, as we say in the magic world, I'm kind of, kind of hell bent. So I guess this is where I would pass turn to you, my good friend. 
I'm going to draw my four from there and then portable capacity. Did you gain your life? Yep, I'm going to gain my life off of healing tube. Thank you for that, by the way. And portable capacitor is going to load one into new way. And that's on you, my good friend. All right. So you also dealt two hits with Hakim into that yeah. two more life. Oh, yeah, you're right. And then right. you get one from healing tube at the end of your yeah. turn. Yeah, I got the one from All healing right. tube. I didn't get the All right. uh, ones off of Hakim. Yeah, thank you. So right, um, I'm gonna play while play. they're playing while, while Sin's playing this next round. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say that so Sin used Abora Bashiri last round and not today, but in an upcoming show, I'm gonna talk about the name Abora Bashiri and the Ooh. name of some of the cards. Uh, that's all I'll say about that for right now. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get some more lion wing content in the wings. Yes, yes, you're gonna get some behind the scenes talk, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. About certain names of cards. Oh, it's that stealth bullet though. Ugh. Why? You know what? Why didn't I pick one? Just a mill out. <laughs> just a mill out. Seriously, just right? <laughs> Man, I've said it before, but stealth bullet is like the sleeper hit of of this Jeez, deck. Of the end right. Right. I'm gonna load two. I was literally thinking, you know, but I want to do something different because I've never actually played with Aquaman yet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fire off Anura for five. Oh, <laughs> and you can activate reactions, and then yeah. rough. I'm gonna fire off the Tara for four with another stealth bullet, so you can't yep, react to yep. that either. That's how it is. Mm. And then. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, Abor Bashiri for three. Dios mio, okay. <laughs> and then I'm the load two in the voltage with Habana's ability, and I'll end my turn by drawing up to hand limit. Did you take oh, your uh, Datara ability at the end of your turn? Oh, I card? did not. I can return one card, so let's see what I want. Yeesh. We are going to have to uh, think real big about what we want to do now because I'm rightfully spooked. This, this might mm. be a quick game, folks. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you got you to gotta, gotta have a big play up your sleeve right here. James. Yeah, I know, right? Like a real big one. <laughs> I'm going to have to check what I have my skill into real quick just so I know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do that and put that back there. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're just chilling right now, I guess. Anywho's, um, sure. Um, oh, cool. I like that. I'm gonna discard this to put down a reloader right here. There we go. At the end of the turn, I can load up to one card from either deck into one of my guns, which is cool. Um, Sheesh, let's, um, hmm. Mm -hmm. So one card there, and yeah, best course of action really is going to load another one in here. I still can't fire off Nui, and I can't fire off Hakuman either, so I guess we'll just do what we got to do. I'll draw my four, and that's on you. Oh, I'll still have to get my one life off of Healing Tube, uh, Portable Capacitor, and Reload are both taking effect, so let's uh, do... One there and one there. All right. All right. Beans, that was that was not the big play I was talking about. That was not the big play. No, I'm <laughs> waiting. I'm waiting to be taken out somewhat peacefully. You know. I activate supercharge. My family right now, settling my business and my affairs. <laughs> That's right. Do you do you need to uh, contact your next of kin? <sighs> At the rate that this gun fires, my next might need to contact my next three next of kin. You feel me? <laughs> Man. Hold on, is that a double bullet on the horizon? Yes, sir, it is. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Chat, I'm going to need you guys to get me some uh, synonyms for spooked, scared, <laughs> terrified, <laughs> words like that, because that's, that's how I'm feeling right now. You feel me? I always like the, the phrase shitting one's pants. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty straight to the point. Okay. Five from Enra. Mm -hmm. 
You gonna do a solid five? Um, and then I'm gonna fire the Tara All right, for Tara. two. Okay. Um, you cannot load your gun via normal action next turn, huh. and you may not draw from your Hakuman deck next turn. Okay. And then five for a burrow. Yep, yep, yep. And that's it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. Dang. Uh, what was your reaction? Yeah, you got a reaction right. there, right? Oh wait, you're right. Yeah, I uh, can reduce your hits from a shot or a skill, but oh yeah, shot or a skill might be. There we go. All right, Ooh. so you can get your three life back. Yay! Uh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna discard one. With a Bana skill. And then... Uh, draw for turn. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got out here. Alright, um, so you actually have to make a big play this turn. <laughs> let's see what we can do, right? Uh, shell generation. Load one card of my choosing for my discard into either gun. Um, sure. You cannot Wait. use actions this turn. Oh, I can't use action yeah. this turn? Wait, Wait, no, it was you can't he cannot load by normal means this turn. Yeah. Uh, uh okay. it was it was poison bullet, right? No, it was no, a free shot. It was Yeah, free shot. So yes. I can't use right here. So, so I can't do action. You cannot or... load your gun yeah, manually. So, yeah, so you can't you use can show generation. Oh wait, what? Pull, oh. up, pull up freeze bullet again. So right. They may still use card effects to load their gun. Yeah, I was so I guess that would work. Oh, shoot. You know what? Um, disregard. I'm thinking of another card. I got you. I, I should read like, more. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so show duration. Let me look through and see what we got here. I swear. No. Really cool? Sin, didn't you play a card? Um, and, I, and I can't remember which one it was that didn't allow him to load via actions. I swear I'm not no. making this up. I mean, apparently I am making it up. I uh, let's see. I should keep better. These were the five so. cards I moved. I did poison shot, and so he's not allowed to draw from Hawkman. Yeah. yeah. All right, maybe I'm. All right. This one. Alrighty. Me. No, you're you're good. I'm gonna toss down high speed recharge to a uh, loaded card into new way and then draw one card from the top one of my decks sure we'll do that uh let's see what else i can do um doo -doo. cool we'll do sure face down face down face down uh which one is that again oh that's my deck yeah cool and we got two over here with Hakuman, so I can still fire Hakuman, correct? That's right. Cool. So I'm going to fire off Hakuman for two, and I'll gain two. Uh, toss those right in there. And let's see, Nui has six, so I'll fire off that as well. Boop. And a drain shot. And how many from that? Uh, it's going to be 14 off of Nui, and I'm going to gain one. Uh, let's see. And how many cards do I have in here? Let me yeah, check what this is real quick, so, so I remember. Blop. Oop. Huh. All right. Let's uh. Can I do that? I can. Cool. Uh, boop. Sure. So, let me see if this works the way I want it to. Right. So I have ten cards in voltage. I want to yeah. flip my skill, right? It's going to be six. Oh. Uh, one, two, oh. three, four, oh. five, six. Uh, load up six cards from the top of one of your decks in either gun. So I can load all those in New way, yeah, and that's it. That's game. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was that, big, that, was that big play, Beans. That was that big play. Good game. <laughs> Goodness. I'm going to be honest. I thought I was going to get more life off of Hakuman. Because <laughs> every time I played against someone with Hakuman, they're like, 
Yeah, so I'm at like 40 life. Um, shall we continue? Mm. Dude. Cool. Me down and enter though. My goodness. Oh, that. Wait, did we do it? Did we make Kiriko work? You Let's made go. Kiriko work. That's right. Let's go. Yes, yeah, someone Woo! in the chat said, I retract my previous rip beans. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that, that card is deadly with uh, Nue. Yeah, that was. Ooh, that's why I picked the two together. That was a good These, were all, <laughs> these were all my reactions. I was very scared for the next turn. <laughs> wow. Oof, GG, my guy. Let's get it. What'd you have in your, uh, your hand, Sen? Recoup. Double bullet, discharge, and recoup. <laughs> Ooh. Eesh. Yeah, all right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Damn. All right. Good game. Good game. That's, that's, uh, shall we, that's the magic of gunning gun right there. Game? Getting hit with 28 damage in one turn feels pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, man. It feels real bad. Oh, sitting, at, sitting at three life <laughs> also feels pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sitting at three life on what turn three? Not a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Man, let's get it. Wow. All right, do you want to go again, or shall we see? Is there anyone in the um, chat? Or I know there is one person in the chat. That I think did definitely want to play. I'm yes. not sure. Yeah. Af, uh, Af would like to play. Bet I can step right. down. You I'm won? Like, no, no, you won. You stay, King of the Hill. Let's go. Oh, that's how we're doing. Okay, uh, here we bet. go. Sure. All right, let's yeah, reset that table and get Af in here. Oh, do I need to send him the uh, details? Yes. Or yes. I got you. He's on. He was the one who would really wanted to play on the Discord, right? Yep. Let me. All right. Let me uh, give him a quick message. Gosh, that was a good game, guys. Who I did not expect. Congratulations, that. though. You that was the first loss I've ever had in Gun and Gun. Yeah, it was good. Ooh, oh man, I took the first blood. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I feel like um, I feel like um, because I was thinking about like how we're gonna do the tournament. I still don't know how we want to structure it, Bradley. Would it be cool if like it's one of those like very anime style things you have to fight your way to the guy on the top, and like at the top is this is, is just sitting there on his throne, just waiting for you? You know? <laughs> yes, sure. Why not? He's just like, all right, now you faced everyone else. You must face me. I like that. And he just automatically has Enra. It's like you don't even get to pick. It's just an, it's like a default. You just don't have access to it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're banning Raid Enra. Uh huh. That's right. <laughs> Raid boss sin. That's, that's right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, in the chat earlier today, we were just talking about this. Um, sin was saying last week's matches were super exciting, and then someone in the chat AF actually said, "Yeah, last week was intense." And I responded with, "I think you might find that most matches of Gun and Gun are pretty exciting slash down to the wire." I mean, it. That right there, what just happened right there really exemplifies that. So uh, if that's the type of game you like, this is the game for you. Hey, Af, thanks for joining us. All right, so I don't, I don't know if they're in the channel yet. I don't know if they're going to be. Yeah, Um. let me ask that. Hey. Hey, hey, hey what is up, guys? Hey, Welcome. nothing much, my guy, nothing much. Just playing, you know, one of the most exciting card games of uh, the near future. You know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, can, uh, I can understand that. All right. Alrighty. Not gonna lie, a bit stressed, a bit anxious. <laughs> we should be fine. We should be oh, no fine. Problem, Listen, okay. We're all about good vibes here. That's Just right, play the game, right. have fun. You got it. Yeah. That's right. mm -hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, no hard like, regarding the live stream, I'm like a couple of seconds like in delay, so I might have a visual issue with that if I want to ever like interact with the chat. No problem. All right, so yeah, mm -hmm. as, as I understood, is the new guy uh, draft first? Uh, yeah, I'm going I think that's fair. Or you could pick. You could yeah, pick. Do you want to draft I, first I, or second? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, first. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick first. Okay. Sure. Go for it, my guy. Mm. I'm gonna go with uh, Kiriko. Ooh, Kiriko strat. I see you. I see you. 
Um, let's see. If I wanted to follow in the footsteps of Wise Master Sin, I would have to pick Ibana. But I'm gonna pick Ran because oh, I like. The actually, player. picking picking Habana was out of my comfort zone. I'm a, I'm a Ran. I'm a Ran guy. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I mean, like for me, like whenever I play a game and I have option to like play like the face character, I usually tend to. Yeah, me but, too. But um, for Gun Gun, I was like, hmm, there's so many cool options that I want to like pick people that I wouldn't normally pick first, just because I want to experience how like the game feels in different ways. I love seeing people play Kiriko, though. I, I think she's just so uh, fantastic. I, I love Kiriko. I like how Kiriko is very much a, you pick me, and I feel like you you, you already kind of know, or you either you already kind of know, or like you want to like curate the way you play, like your first turn to the way that you want to play. And I think that's really, really cool. Yep. Hmm, what do I want to choose, though? Um... All of these are really cool. Sure. I'll just, uh, yeah, we'll choose this one. Boop. And I'll put those two back. All right. You can choose first gun, and then I'll choose two, or, yeah. I'm I'm going to be the gentleman here, and I'm going to let you pick the gun first. Oh, thank oh. you. It's very sweet uh, of you. Let's see that. Well, I Ooh. did pick the character first, so I think it's just, like, equal that he picks the gun first. I appreciate that, my man. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Uh, do I want to pick Hakuman? I, I feel like Hakuman and Enra. Zara are going to have the least amount of experience. Don't do him dirty oh, and, and pick Enra. Did, 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 did I did I hear something? Huh? Huh? No, hmm? nothing. Was that, was, that the wind? was that the wind on my side, guys? What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what suggestion <laughs> on the wind? <laughs> um, I do want to pick Hakuman though, just because I feel like I haven't given Hakuman enough love and. I want to figure out how to play this gun well. That's fair. Okay. Well, in this case, I'm going to pick Enra. Yes, sir. Oh, if you uh, click and hold onto the deck, you'll be able to pick up all the cards. I have to like, yeah. literally keep reminding Bruh. myself of that. I was, wondering why I, did. I was wondering why I couldn't shuffle with one card. Now I know why. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you get to pick two actually, since you pick second. Okay. Um. I'm gonna pick one. Ooh, makes sense. Makes sense. I like it. I like it. Um. So since I don't want to do what I just did, I guess I have to pick the Tara because I don't want to just do a rerun. Because at that point, it's like playing one division but not cool because one division is a great show let's see um all right i have three two agility and you have four, four. So you will be going first all right oh, hands at least three all right sure let's um do that one two four hmm interesting also, it's my first time. Okay, so okay, so I don't see your cards, but I can see mine. Okay, nice. Cool, 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 cool. Because weirdly enough, when I play in single player, um, the cards in the end, like in your end, does not yeah. like feature properly. So I have to put them like aside and stuff. I got you. I got you. Yes, I was doing a lot of uh, theory crafting and uh, just toying with the game. On my on my free time. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Um, it's really cool to see so many people excited for this game. I'm like dying to play this on the tabletop with more people and virtually too. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, I guess it's I'm going first. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to load a double bullet into the Uwan. Ooh, okay. And I'm gonna finish it for for now. And from what I'm understanding, I'm I have to draw until I have my full end size, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna pick there. Cool. cool. Your All turn. Right. Is, oh, you're ending your turn. Yep. All right. Uh, on me side, I'm gonna let's see. Ooh, sure. I'll just toss a. Uh... So let's load in Hakuman right here. 
And I'm going to discard this card to play Scheme. So I get to draw three cards on the top of one of my decks. I'm going to draw three from the Hawkman deck. Put that there and that there. Uh, I'll bet. Now I get to play Healing Tube. At the end of my turn, I'm going to gain a life. And Fair enough, fair um, enough. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for my turn. At the end of my turn, I'm going to gain one life. And also at the end of my turn, I can load up to one card from the top of my decks into either gun. So I'll just load one into Datara and... Pass to you, my good man. So, like I said, I don't know. I don't know the rules by heart and stuff. So, okay. if I have four cards in hand, I do not have like a maximum maximum end size. So I can draw to like to five. Then there's no problem, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, but you do not draw at the beginning of your turn. Ah. Yeah. All I the drawings end. at the end. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fair and put the cards at the bottom. I'm gonna put the card at the bottom. Let's say that I didn't see that. Um, I'm gonna put the overload orb for zero. Ooh, okay. Oh, be... I remember this card. <laughs> that should be a good start. Um. Hmm. Overlord Orb kind of goes ham. Hey, I want to say like there's what, like three in that one deck. I, didn't we have like three on the field last week? There's a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three, three. I think I saw the match oh, last yeah. weekend. And yeah, I was wrong. Broke, like three of them. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna load the third bullet into the U1. I'm gonna shoot it. Yes. Yeah, actually. Right. So it's gonna count for is gonna count for four hit. Yes. And which one am I discarding from? Um from the the Tara. Alright, sounds good. Uh so it's four, four hits. Yeah, cool. Uh one, two, three, and four. Alright. Um I'm gonna finish my turn by loading a double bullet uh, into the classic. Enra. And I'm gonna finish my turn on that. And at the oh no, that's a, at the start of your turn. Oh, well, yeah. that's it for me. All right, cool, cool. Did you draw? So ah, oh, yes, yeah, yes. Now, now it is the time to draw. <laughs> there we go. Um... Ooh, okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't cards. draw at the end of my last turn. Is it cool if I draw one right now? Fair enough. I'm a fair man, and I do not like to win on stupid stuff like that. So you are a I'm gentleman, Af. Well, I'm cool. Canadian. That's That sure helps a bit. Uh, it I does. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. You're like a gentleman by default. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It just comes with the territory, you know. Yep. Down and, here in uh, American, we have, to, we, have to, we have to go to school. To we got to work for it. <laughs> gentleman school. <laughs> gentleman school. Nah, that's yeah. just the school of life. <laughs> oh, words of the wise. Yes. I'm gonna have to like start taking these quotes down. My guy, jeez. You have you thought about writing a book? Let's get it. The, the... I've written down a few of yours, Beans. <laughs> what about, about um, the like... soup? Yeah, the soup one. That's by far my the favorite. Soup. If you don't have <laughs> enough noodles, just right add more. Uh, let's see. I will. Let's put down drain shot into Datara. Uh, healing tube is at the end of my turn. Which is also at the end of my turn. I'm doing a lot of things at the end of my turn. But what about right now? Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm gonna do a diversion. I get to draw X plus one cards, where X is the number of mechanisms I own. So yes. I have one. I'm gonna draw two cards. Uh, you can only activate it once per turn. That's actually pretty fair and balanced. Oh my mm. god. Yes. Happen? Okay. There you go. And oh, cool. I'm gonna. Put, yeah, let's load up free shot into Hakuman. Um, oh, that's actually really interesting. And, hmm. Okay. I'll discard that, I'll flip that over, and toss down this secret reaction. And I guess we'll see what it does later. How many cards oh, do we have? Oh. Just two here and a Tara. Um, and then I have, I think it's two here for Hakuman as well. Sure, I'll fire off Hakuman for two. Yes. And I'll gain my two life. Ooh. And what was the effect of your special bullet? 
Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, free shot. When firing again, a little bit free shot. Your opponent may not load their guns via normal actions during the next turn. Hmm. But they may still use card effects to load their guns. Well, that is unfortunate. <laughs> a little bit. Had to slow Android down just a tad. You feel me? You feel me? Um, do I want to fire up the tar right now? Because uh, two bullets in there. Uh, sure, I'll fire up the tar as well. That's going to be okay. two hits on you, and I'll gain one. Sure. And... With also, that, did... I believe it's the end of my turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, what? Yeah. Also, did you forget? Oh, okay. No, it's at the end of your turn. Gain one. Oh, so yeah. you're at 31. Right now. Hmm? I'm going to gain a life off of there. Uh, off of Ran. I'm going to. Let's see. I'm going to load a card into Datara, and then I'll draw for my hand. And it's your turn. All right. So at this. Uh, that's at the start of my turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Ditch one of the Datara. Oop, makes sense, makes sense. Yes. Okay. I can't do much mm -hmm. right now. Because I cannot load bullet. Mm -hmm. One. Okay. I'm going to discard antimatter shot to a secret reaction card. Ooh, so you. your reaction card, you don't have to pay for until you activate them. Ah, you can put them on the field for free. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I keep forgetting that too. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, so what? What shot did I play? Oh, yeah, that's uh, rubber bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rubber bullet. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, in that case, I'm still gonna discard antimatter shot to play scheme. I'm gonna draw three. Oh, I got you. That's a good card. So. Two, three. Oh. Hmm. Again, can do much because of that uh, free shot, unfortunately. Hmm. I have a double bullet. Well, I'm gonna shoot with uh with Enra for a small three damage. Just a little bit, you know. Oop. Just, just a sm tidy bit damage. Um. A couple of slight lacerations, it'll be fine. Again, can't do much because you free shot me, so here go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my good man. Um, let's see, I don't have anything that activates the start of my turn, it's all at the end of my turn. So, what I'm gonna do is we are going to, um, hmm, sure, let's um pitch that so I can play a reloader. At the end of my turn, I get to load a card from the top of one of my decks and need a gun. Okay. Um, and do I wanna... sure. Put this upside down. Load that in Hawkman. Um, don't want to fire Hawk. Can't fire Hawkman right now. Can't fire Detar right now. So I'll go to the end of my turn. I'm gonna load a card over there. I'm also gonna go off a of reloader and load a card over here and gain a life off of Healing Tube. And it's your go, my good friend. Nice. Um, now I can actually load bullets, oh, which yeah. is pretty, pretty fun. Um, let's see. Well, first off, double bullet into the Uon. Yes, sir. Paralysis bullet into the Enra. Mm hmm Oof. <laughs> That's the card I was thinking last time when I was getting it confused gotcha. with a uh, free shot. Mm. There it is. Oh. <clears throat> oh, also, at the start of my turn, uh, Ditch oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot oh, about it. Sorry. Nope, you're good. Oh, not the whole deck. Oh, no. It's, uh, there we go. Boop. Oh, my goodness. Yay, there we go. Oof. Oh, we got rid of a scheme. It's too bad. Oof, you hate to see it. My Jimmy's equals rustled. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna sh fire Enra. All right, that's gonna so be how much coming at me? Uh, one damage. Oh, all right. Boop. Oh, sorry. There we go. And going to shoot also with the one for two and mill two from the Taras deck. Yes, sir. Doot and mm. doot. Oh my goodness! There goes smoke. Just want to, I just want to see something with my. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, mm. 
miscalculation, but it is okay. Mm, I'm gonna use recycle to get back the antimatter shot. Got you. And that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna draw two cards. Alrighty, daddy then. Hmm. Here we go. Sounds good. I'm gonna. Okay, so paralysis will be playing the action cards, right? Until the end of my next turn. That's great. Uh, yeah. Alrighty then. Whew. That uh, certainly throws a little bit of a monkey wrench into some of the plans that we had, but you know, um, we gotta improvise, adapt, overcome, make different cookies after you've added too much baking soda, all that good stuff. Oh yes, um, absolutely. So what you do about it, you, you do it like a small uh, pudding on the side, so like that you can dip the cookies in it. Man, I give it like, extra I taste. been friends with you when I was 17, because that literally <laughs> happened to me when I was like making cookies for this girl I wanted to impress, right? Because she was over my house. But I mixed up like the amount of baking soda I needed to add with like, I don't know if it was sugar or something else. And I added like, I think like a cup of baking soda. And so oh, the cookies no. came out. They came out perfectly flat like I wanted them to, but they tasted like salt. And I mm -hmm. felt so stupid. You could have said it would have been like some salty biscuit. <sighs> See, unfortunately, I wasn't that forward thinking at the time. Like, I, you know, it's like I was a different man when I was 17. Like, my hair was shorter and everything. You know? oh, yeah, I can understand that. I'm 22 right now, going on my 23, and it was a different time. I mean, make, me feel old. Myself, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> make you feel old. Make you feel old. Oh, come on. I know, right? I mean, I'm not much older. I'm, I'm going to be 27 in like three months. Hey, well, you? happy birthday in advance. Y'all are making me feel <laughs> real you. old for real. Nah, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, weren't you talking last stream about like graduating in like early 2000s? I think it was. A gentleman right? does not tell his age <laughs> <laughs> well let's uh, just have i uh, just screwed the gentleman rule then i'm running the show i make the rules around here what if bradley just you know doesn't have an age because he's like been around longer than any of us can imagine i'm you know? ageless i'll tell you mm -hmm. this i uh i'm a lot younger looking than i actually am he'll be localized in lion wing game till the end of time that's right in exactly. perpetuity baby <laughs> Mm. One day we're gonna find out that this entire that our entire lives have just been a Twilight fan fiction <laughs> and Bradley was Edward. Oh yeah, I mean I'd be okay with that. <laughs> All right, let me there are worse fates than that in life. Life. <laughs> Oh see, I am going to definitely fire off Hawkman because gaining three life seems cool. Um I don't have any special bullets, I just want to make sure that's all gonna be the voltage. Oh no. There we go. One Let's get three on you, and I get three. three. Um, and sure, I'll fire up the tower for four hit. And, oh, at the end of turn, I get to return a card. Cool. So one, one, two, two three, three, four. And I can oh, mount response to it. Right there. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, no cards in hand. I can't do anything else. So this is the part where I get to... So just for clarification, I feel like I ask this every week, but it's like, do I draw my cards and then do end of turn stuff, or is it end of turn stuff and then I draw my cards? I'm pretty sure draw cards and end of turn. End of turn yeah. effects are always at the end of the turn. Nice. All right, let me draw my cards, and then let's do all my end of turn stuff. Uh, Rand says I get to do that. Reloader also says I get to do that. Healing Tube says I get to pump one up. And then Datara says I get to return a card of my choosing from the discard pile to my hand. Let me... Value me town. Here. Value town. That's right. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I like. Oh, hold on now. Mm. How valuable is this gonna be to me in the long run, though? I gotta, I gotta start thinking bigger than just what I want to do right now. Hmm. And for the Ooh. record, sin, it was not the early two thousands. I'm not that old. <laughs> okay, I, I couldn't. Rem I have a bad memory. <laughs> I think I'll take this one. Sure. Let's see. Uh, oh dear. There we go. And your turn. All oh, right. So at the start of my turn, I will ask you to mill the Taros deck for one yes, card. Yes, sir. Uh, mm. Whoa, interception. I, thought that's, I almost thought that's an intersection for a second. Mm. It's like... Okay. Mm. 
how do I want to do this? I'd hope it didn't say intersection. We'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the tar can only be fired when you come to a full stop in your vehicle. <laughs> okay. So, antimatter shot. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, so then so load for <laughs> another one. Cards. Wild. <laughs> I'm going to shoot Enra right away. So, so three, right? Three damage. Uh, yeah, three damage and discard one from, of course, the Taras deck. Ooh. Mm. Mm, I think I'm losing cards. Then Ooh. after that, I'm going to Volt. Mm -hmm. So one, oh, dear. two, I'm scared. three, four, what? five, no. six. Oh man! I'm going to use uh, cool off. Eesh. Oh wait, nope. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, hmm. Actually, yes. That's the only card I have in my <laughs> in my voltage. So <laughs> wow. let's go. Oh, uh, oh, I thought I did a misplay, but I guess it worked wow. out anyway. Perfect. Happy let's accident. Uh, yep. The guys out here suffering. Load a <laughs> double bullet and shoot with Uwan. For Ooh. two damage, and you're gonna yeah. this time mill oh. the uh oh. Akumen's deck for two. Uh, I oh. appreciate you, uh, you know, oh. having some variety, switching it up. Means, <laughs> yes, means those decks are not looking too good, my friend. <laughs> my goodness, <laughs> they're not looking good. <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna end my turn and I'm gonna draw the the cards. My goodness, it's looks like we're running low on mac and cheese in the house, cheese. I was uh, looking at the chat saying, like, hmm, Enra and Uwan, what an interesting combo. Now you know why. Hmm. What, I, what I've been learning over the past three weeks is just that any anytime someone's against me in Enra, it's, it's already kind of it's kind of over already unless I'm doing something wild. Let's see. Um... Yeah, the gun itself is not that good, in my opinion. It's more his deck that is really yeah. good for, like, other guns. It is so yeah, crazy how good like, it is. Right now, I'm just grinding you with U1 and that double bullet effect and being like, I mean, yeah, free mill. It makes sense. I think we talked about this last week, or somebody in the chat said it, you know, Enra is a sidearm, right? It's supposed to, yeah. you know, yeah. you have it to go along with your main weapon. It's not like a main weapon itself. Yep. Exactly. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. So what do we want to do here? Um, Something real big, I bet. I hope. <laughs> I would love to. For your sake. Me. Let's see. Oh dear. Hmm. I'll tell you what, bullets in the air is un is underappreciated. Yep. So yep. In, all, in, in, in all of our time playing and play testing, I noticed that um, my team rarely chose bullets in the air mm -hmm. uh, when playing Kiriko because maximum reload is is such an obviously good gun or a uh, good skill that people tend to just see that and say, "Oh yeah, no, I'm." I'm, I'm playing maximum reload as my as my Kiriko skill, but bullets in the air, sleeper hit. That's a yep. sleeper hit. Let's see. So when my gonna... normal loadout with uh, Kiriko would using bullets in the air would have been Aquaman and Uwan, but since Beans mm -hmm. took the Aquaman, I was like, okay, well, let's go for, for Plan B and go Turbo <laughs> Mill while taking the hits. Yeah, yeah. This so Hakuman and Uwan with bullets in the air is a sick combination, by the way. Really oh good. my <laughs> goodness, that's wild. All right, so um, I'm going to do clear view. During this turn, you discard one card from your hand whenever you're dealt one or more hits. Okay. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if this is going to work the way that I hope it will. Let's put that there and put that there. We're going to load both these cards into Datara. And we're going to fire Datara for four. So while well, that damage is going to re be reducing by two, since I have bullets in the oh, air. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So for the action card that makes me discard cards, mm -hmm. how does it work actually? Uh, whenever you dealt one or more hits, you discard. Oh, is, is it only one? Is it like not one per hit, but it's just one in general, like at all? Because uh, you discard one card from your hand whenever you dealt one or more. Yeah, so it's just, you just discard one. Oh, yep. interesting. Okay. That's why I was asking. So yeah. you know what? I'm going to be a fair man again. I'm gonna take those. Just gonna put them one on top. Come on, please. 
There you go. Okay, please let me shuffle. All right. Which shall I discard? Uh, yeah, this one. This one. Yep. And, and it is double bullet. Ooh, let's go, baby. My goodness, what a king! You can learn Just a make lot sure you're not so nice when it comes to a tournament or the ritual league. That's right. <laughs> True. Get out all your all right, niceness um, now. I, I kind of have to at this point. I'm definitely gonna flip over my skill card. Here I come. I'm gonna do six to you and then gain six. Sure. Um, that. Does that damage is reduced by bullet in the air? I do not think so. Yeah. Uh, so that's just shots for bullets in the air. So you'll take the full damage. Yep. yep. So down to 11. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, I feel, I'm feeling like I like when I first started playing Magic, being like, having a bigger life total means you win better, right? But um, <laughs> not quite working like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of done. Because um, at this point, I kind of have to go to the end of my turn. And um, I, you have to draw like to your hand size, right? That's right. So, assuming that I uh, choose to not do Rand's ability and re Reloader's ability, I do my healing two. I draw my three. Wow. <laughs> well, so that's actually a question I did have. If one of your decks has less than your hand size and you choose that deck to draw from, do you only draw what's left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's in uh, that's in the FAQ section of the uh, okay course at Robo. Oh man, I just lose to Overlord Orb, don't I? <laughs> yep. So Overlord, at the start of my turn, you oh, mail yeah. the, the Taurus Blast card, and and there it is. Ah, uh, GG. Uh, GG. Who GG? My God, man. I had those cards in my hand for next turn. Man, these are these were the ones that I just drew. My goodness, man. I gotta I gotta learn how to like play around Uwan because like. One kind of goes really hard, though, man. Mm. I guess the thing, mm, I guess the the thing that could counter you on is would be a a gun that could use the bullets in the discard pile, like a sh like a sharp yeah. nail gun or something that can be like, exactly. oh, you can load from from your discard pile. That could be an idea. That would be cool. Like, what if it like even if it's like um has cards that do that, or what? It, I guess it would be like maybe too pigeonholy to say it can only load from discard. But that would be really cool, mm -hmm. like a scrap gun or something, you know? Or yeah, like it, like a like a, yeah. like a shotgun using like sharp nail and stuff on the ground and just like exactly, load that yeah. thing in and then just shoot it. So you just kind of throw everything in there and it it, it goes, it does. Ah, I feel great. Now, first game ever versus someone, I feel great about it. Yo, there you go, my guy. I feel amazing it about it. Yeah, no, that was that was. Oh. That, that was a good game and it was that was a very different cadence uh, mm -hmm. than the first game so that was cool to see and it was good for people to see that yes while gun and gun is a very rush oriented game and that spectacular plays are a regular thing it's not going to happen every game that there there are multiple ways to to win in gun and gun there are multiple ways to to grind down your opponent it doesn't have to be just through big plays certainly that will happen but as you just saw here af as he as he so um, eloquently showed us you can slowly chip away at someone and uh, and kind of get the same effect may not be as exciting but a, but a w is a w you know um exactly. and once the once the tournament kicks off and then uh once the virtual league kicks off a w is definitely a w it doesn't matter how you get there so yes, it, it was cool to see uh it was cool to see uwan and and inra played um it is an interesting low out loadout it's not um it's not a super uncommon loadout uh but how it plays off of one another is really cool, I think, anyway. I actually, so full disclosure, Uwan is my least favorite um, gun in the core set. I, I, <laughs> I struggle to play it. I struggle to play against it. I don't I don't enjoy playing with it, even. Um, and I don't know if I don't enjoy it because I'm not good with it or if I just don't enjoy it because its its style doesn't click with my style. But uh, So I, I'm, I'm always a little envious when people can field Uwan and then play it really well. Uh, so it was cool to see this loadout. I've seen this loadout before. Um, but it was cool to see it played really effectively here. Like Af showed us. So, um, yeah, you know, um, beans, y you had a yeah. good strategy. Y you really had a good strategy. Unfortunately, 
Aft's mill strategy was just, I, I don't think you were going to compete with that, especially with Hockman exactly. on the field. Hockman is a very it, situational mm-hmm. gun. Like some people really dislike Hockman. Um, I, I like Hockman a lot, but uh, it's a hard, hard gun to play. I, I, oh, yeah. it's, it's one of the harder guns, I think in the, in the core set anyway, that's it, you, like yeah. you can be, you can play Hockman. Most people can play Hockman. Okay. Not many people can play Hockman well. Um, exactly. it sort of depends on what your loadout is. And that's really kind of the name of this game is like, what is your loadout? Any one gun can be good or bad, depending on what the rest of your loadout looks like. But I've just noticed that just from our play data, a lot of people seem to struggle to get Hockman performing the way that they think it should, or they, or the way that they want it. However, there have been plenty of people in our play testing and, and other folks who, who I've seen on the stream play Hawkman and they play it super effectively. So um, it, again, it kind of comes down to your style and what you're pairing it with. And that's what I like about gun and gun so much is it, you don't have to put all of your eggs into one basket when it comes to a gun. It's really about like the, the total of, of what your loadout is and what it can do. And that's exciting. It, it I think people initially were like, Oh, gun and gun, it doesn't have deck construction. You know, how competitive can it be? And it's like, well, yes, it doesn't have deck construction, but it's got this badass loadout <laughs> mechanic that sort of accomplishes the same thing. You just have less variables to account for, but you still get a lot of variety in the variables that you do get to choose. It, so, my, my, my just like my, uh, least favorite thing about Hawkman or the thing I dislike about it the most is that one's that sorry about that. Um is that uh so besides Nui, Hawkman's like the only gun you can't load and fire like right away. Exactly. Um because it has a load value of one and you need at least two bullets in it. Yeah. For Nui it makes sense because you know you get those bullets in it and then it it really like Yeah it's kinda you know goes yeah. into your opponent. No, it's, like Hakuman, it's it's super slow, very like slow. with the load value of one. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, yeah, sure. unless you have a deck like Enro that has double bullet, or or another deck that like allows you, or like Ran that allows you to load into it, like on top of the load value, it, it just feels really hard to play, right? Exactly, yep. and I feel like um, I, I feel like in a similar way with Enro, you kind of have to like use it as a gun that's gonna like like for example, the way that I've seen a lot of people play is like kind of have to use it as the gun that's going to help offset the damage that someone else is going to deal to you while your other gun tends to do like the major damage or whatever strategy that you're going to like work with you know and i feel like that was kind of my big struggle with it like in the past two games where it's like all right how am i going to work this around whatever other gun that i'm working with because like unless i can guarantee that i'm going to be able to like like a uh, similar saying load and fire efficiently it's like it's got to be the one that's going to help keep me afloat not necessarily when it's going to help win me the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see how Hockman plays out in the long term. It'll definitely be interesting to see how it plays out once, once y'all see how Notori works and especially how you see, uh, once you see how uh, Kasane, the shotgun works, uh, so then, then you'll see even more kind of strategies mm-hmm. and how Hockman plays off of that, which is cool. I think one of the, the biggest deterrents to playing Hockman well or f- for people to feel fulfilled when playing Hawkman is managing their expectations of the gun. I think people see life drain and they're like, Oh hell yes. Give me all the life. Right. And gun and gun. Yes. Like, like any card game you want, you want life, but having a lot of life is probably less important in gun and gun than it is in other games. Just because there are so many loadouts and there are so many plays that you can make that do like huge, huge damage where it's like, uh, the extra life probably isn't going to help. Um, certainly extra life and gun and gun helps. Don't get me wrong. We saw in last game how Hockman, I think really played into, uh, uh beans, a strategy and, and helping him win, even though he wasn't gaining a ton from Hockman, it was enough to keep him afloat to make that final play of the game. And that was like his mm-hmm. last ditch effort and it worked. So Hockman, don't get me wrong. Hockman has a place on the field. I think it's a great gun. I think people's expectations of it get in the way of them feeling like they got from it, what they wanted to get from it. So, um, yeah, uh, good games, folks. Uh, we are coming up against our our time here. So that is going to do it for this week's uh, Lion Wing Plays. This is episode three. Uh, thanks to Af. Thank you for joining us, Af. Much sure. appreciated. That was awesome. My pleasure. My pleasure. And I kind of like the nickname that you give me with Af and not saying my whole name. I'm, I'm going to change my name for that in the Discord. 
Yeah, hey, well, there we go. Okay, so I wish I could take credit for it. Like, oh, I'm really great at just like whittling down names and, and creating a, a, a nickname. But really, I just don't know how to say the rest of your name. So <laughs> it was like self-preservation. Like, I'm not going to sound like a fool. Uh, so I'm just going to call him Af. And I saw you just change it in the Discord. Yep. So it's going to be way easier for everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and perhaps it was pronounced exactly super easy, but I, I just, I never want to get people's names wrong. Um, so thanks for joining us half. That was awesome. And of course, beans sin y'all are awesome as usual. We'll be back next week playing gun and gun again, as we get prepared for the tournament. Uh, I don't know if we'll have Notori and, uh, Kasane ready for next week's lion wing plays, but I am going to try, but no promises. Uh, still, we are going to be dropping some details about that gun and gun tournament very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And then join us on Wednesday for our next show of, uh, of Lion Wing Talks. Because I, I, I've seen that some people who watch uh, plays do not watch talks. So if you're watching plays, uh, join us in two days time where we have an open forum and we just have a conversation really about what's going on behind the scenes at Lion Wing, what's happening with our projects. I answer community questions. I will drop some hints about what what is in the future. I might have things that are happening in the background of, of my space right here that also might be telling you what we might have coming, or maybe I don't. That's kind of the fun part. Um, and so it's, it's just a laid back show where we talk instead of play, hence the name. Uh, so uh, anything that y'all want to leave the, uh, the viewers with? Uh, definitely pop into the Discord. We love seeing more people in here playing, talking, chatting, all that good stuff. We have a really cool community of some really cool people. Um, there's a bunch of different games being played all the time. So, again, if you're ever looking for, like, for example, someone to play Monster Hunter with, I'm usually around. I know Sin plays. I know a couple other people like Ben and, like, Church are in the Discord play, too. So, again, come on down. It's a really welcoming environment. Everyone is super-duper chill. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more Lion Wing games here with everyone and just getting to know more people in the community. I think we got something really special here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, join us on the Discord. If you haven't uh, checked out the Discord yet, there's always some kind of conversation happening. Uh, very awesome community, very welcoming community. And uh, we're always looking for more people to chat with and more people to play Gun and Gun with. So, um, well, that'll do it for this week. Uh, we'll be back next week, same time, Monday, 9 p.m. EST. Join us for Lion Wing Plays. We'll play some more Gun and Gun. We'll see y'all next time. Take care. Woo.